Salve Maria! Welcome to our program, Saints for Us. I'm Father Juan from the Heralds of the Gospel. And in our program today, we're going to speak about Saint Isaac Yogs, one of the first martyrs of North America. Uh, Saint Isaac was born in France in, in 1607. Uh, he became a Jesuit and uh, eventually he was sent here to Canada as a missionary. In Canada, he was taken uh, prisoner, he was captured and taken prisoner by one of the fierce uh, Indian tribes that existed in those moments, that was the Iroquois. And the Iroquois uh, took him prisoner and tortured him cruelly. Um, among other things, he, uh, several of his fingers were eaten or burnt off. St. Isaac uh, uh, was uh, stayed for 13 months prisoner of these Indians, and he was um, cruelly uh, tortured and suffered all types of humiliations. Um, and really, it was uh, beyond the power of natural endurance. Uh, only by a miracle was he able to survive all these uh, mischiefs. Uh, with the help of, eventually with the help of the Dutch that were in good terms or friendly with these Indians, uh, he, was, he managed to escape. Uh, he arrived in uh, uh, New Amsterdam, in those times it was New Amsterdam, and that's the present New York. And from there he embarked uh, on a, a ship that took him to, to England, where he arrived in the end of uh, December 1643. Well, he, uh, from England, he took uh, a ship again to France, where he arrived in the coast of Brittany uh, on, on Christmas Day, 1643. He was in such a state of destitution and he was, um, that he had no money at all. So he went walking to the nearest uh, house of the Jesuits there in France, uh, that was in Rennes where he arrived on January 5th. So it's dawn, January 5th, and the bell at the door of the college of the Jesuits in Rennes rings. The doorman surprised somebody knock, uh, ringing at their uh, door at that time of the day, goes and opens the door and finds this beggar dressed up as a poor sailor who says, uh, please, I want to speak with the, uh, uh, the rector because I have a, a letter from the governor of Manhattan and I bring news from Canada. The doorman was very surprised and said, well, okay, wait here, please. And he went to uh, look up for the superior. He found him at the sacristy. He, the superior was already dressed. He was going to celebrate mass for all the community. And when the uh, porter comes and tells him the surprising news, he's very um, interested. So he takes off his vestments, calls another priest to celebrate in his place, and goes to speak with this uh, man. When he arrives at the lobby, he finds this uh, beggar, it says, that takes off his hat and says, uh, Reverend, here's the, the letter uh, that I bring from the uh, governor of Manhattan. And the uh, rector says, uh, oh, you're coming from Canada. Do you have news from Canada? Uh, yes, I do. Do you know the French Jesuits there in Canada? Oh, I know them all very well, says the beggar. And uh, have you heard about Father Yogs? Uh, do you know him? Oh, I know him very well. Do you, can you tell me if he still lives or if, if he's dead? Because we've heard here that he was killed by the Indians. We've even celebrated masses for a soul. So do you know if he lives or has he died already? The beggar says he lives uh, and it is him that is speaking with you, uh, reverence. And he falls on his knees at the feet of the rector and asks his blessing. You can imagine the surprise of the rector his emotion. He hadn't recognized Saint Isaac because, um, because of his, uh, all the tortures he had suffered and the mutilations. His aspect was absolutely different. And so he embraces uh, Father uh, Isaac and amid tears of emotion, he leads him to the chapel where he calls all the community and the celebrate a mass of thanksgiving. 
Well, uh, Father Isaac uh, stays there and starts to um, recover from all his sufferings. Eventually, they call him to Paris, where even the, the Queen Mother goes to visit him. But during all this time, there was just one desire that was burning the heart of St. Isaac Yogg's. This desire was to go back to Canada to save souls for our Lord Jesus Christ. He wanted to go back to those same Indians that had mistreated him in that manner to save their souls and to evangelize them and save the souls for our Lord Jesus Christ. So he asked uh, permission to his superiors, which are quite astounded uh, with uh, this uh, uh, request, but eventually give him permission. And six months after arriving in France, he's already back in Canada. He goes to the lands of the uh, Iroquois, where he uh, finds finally martyrdom in the year 1646. One of the lessons we can draw from the life of this outstanding saint is just imagine, he had passed 13 months of tortures and humiliations, but his, he had a fire in his heart that was to go back to evangelize them. He could have said, well, I've done enough, I've suffered enough, um, now let me take um, a more peaceful life, a more uh, a life with less dangers, let somebody else, let others take up my, my, this, this job. Now, if he had done this, if he hadn't thought this, he wouldn't be a saint. On the contrary, it was a huge love for God that um, drove him back to Canada and back to uh, the land of the Indians to try to convert him. It is the greatest proof of our love for a neighbor to desire for his conversion, to desire to take him out of his errors, to convert him to the true religion. It is to following the example of the Lord Jesus Christ, who suffered all his passion and shed all his blood for the conversion of all men, for each and every one of us, for you and for me. Holy Mother Church says that our Lord Jesus Christ would have suffered all who suffered just for the conversion of one person, and that person could be you, that person could be me. Sinaiq Isaac is an example of those that follow the order of our Lord Jesus Christ, which appears in the Gospel of Saint Matthew. Go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. It's not only to baptize them, but to teach them to live the life that our Lord Jesus Christ wants for us. Let us ask Saint Isaac Yogs to obtain for the Holy Mother Church in our days, missionaries with the same fire that he had for the conversion of the souls. Thank you for being with us today and may the blessing of Almighty God Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend upon you and remain forever. Salve Maria.